So this is Kathy Wood and she is Wall Street's new shooting star. She's an active fund manager and the founder of ARK. In 2020, the fund size of her ARK Innovation ETF grew by a thousand percent. But a few weeks ago, it crashed by 30%. Now, what is the ARK hype about? Why have the ETFs crashed this year? Is it too risky to invest in ARK ETFs? And why this chart should be a warning to you? These are the questions that we will look at in this video. So let's get it. What's up everyone, this is FU Academy, your channel for financial education. And on this channel, I share lifestyle, investing style and educational videos just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. ARK is an active asset manager that invests in companies that are developing technology with the potential to disrupt entire industries. A lot of research work is going into the process of finding these companies and a cool thing about ARK is that they openly share this research with everyone, which a lot of funds would never do. In a 2008 interview, Kathy Wood came to fame when she predicted that the Tesla share price will hit $4,000. She was criticized a lot back then for saying something so outrageous, but since that interview, the Tesla stock didn't just hit $4,000, but actually $4,400 if we adjusted for the 5 for 1 stock split that Tesla did last summer. Her fund massively benefited from the Tesla price explosion because it's ARK's biggest holding. She was so right with her Tesla bet that the media is already celebrating her as the new Warren Buffett. And investors started throwing money into her investment firm. ARK's asset under management grew by more than 1000% in 2020. I mean, they grew in such a parabolic way that you can't even see the bars of their competition anymore. When ARK looks for new companies, they combine two approaches top-down and bottom-up. In the top-down research, ARK looks for opportunities in five innovation spaces, which are blockchain, AI, robotics, energy storage, and DNA sequencing. In the bottom-up research, they screen companies in those five innovation spaces and score them in six areas. And these are company culture, execution quality, mode, product, valuation, and risks. At the end of that process, Kathy Wood has the final decision on every investment. ARK has multiple ETFs that invest in different innovation spaces. By the way, if you don't know what an ETF is, then please check out the video in the link. One extra tip for you, you can look through their funds if you need new investment ideas. And an extra tip, you can also sign up for their trade notifications to get daily emails with all the positions that they bought and sold on that day. You will find the link to this in the description below. ARK currently offers seven ETFs with a different focus. In this video, I wanna focus on their biggest one, the ARK Innovation ETF, ticker symbol ARKK. This is also available as a USITS ETF, so people from Europe and Asia can also invest in it. This ETF is the broadest one and invests in all five innovation spaces. It's an actively managed ETF, so it doesn't just track an index, but actively picks companies. The expense ratio is 0.75%. It's higher than the average ETF expense ratio, but if you compare it to actively managed ETFs, then it's fairly priced. But have the extra costs generated a higher return than the market? In 2017, ARKK started outperforming the S&P 500 slowly, but it wasn't until 2020 where it literally took off. And good performance attracts new investors. So more and more money was flowing into the fund. In December 2020, ARKK became the largest actively managed ETF taking the crown from JP Morgan. And this is an unbelievable achievement considering that a year ago, no one knew about this fund. But the last few weeks have been brutal for the fund. ARKK crashed by 31% in less than a month. But question to you, will ARKK snap back and continue to outperform the market? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's have a look at what's actually in this ETF. Number one with 10% weight is unsurprisingly Tesla. There are two more things that are interesting here. Number one is the price to sales ratio. The average price to sales ratio of the S&P 500 is 2.9 at the moment, which is already record level. But look at these companies. I mean, look at CRISPR. They have a price to sales ratio of 13,000. The second thing that stands out is the small size of some of these companies. And that brings us to the risks of investing in ARK ETFs. We are about halfway through. If you are getting value in this video, then let me know by hitting that like button. Thank you so much. 
Risk number one of investing in ARX ETFs is fund flows. If you look at the 10 biggest holdings of the ARKK, you will see that some of these companies are tiny. Let's take a closer look at two of them, CRISPR and Invitae. Both have a market cap of below $10 billion. If you compare that to a Tesla with a market cap of $650 billion, then you can sense how small these companies are. So investors were piling around $20 billion into the ARKK in 2020. ARK then took that money and invested it into these smaller companies. Let's simplify it and say that 3% of these $20 billion went into CRISPR and Invitae. That's an extra $600 million, also known as 6 to 7% of their market cap which came from ARK alone. And that massively pushed up the share price of these smaller companies. And that pushed up ARK's ETF performance and investors put even more money into the ETF. It's a cycle that gets bigger with every additional dollar. So a big part of ARK's performance was driven by fund flows. This is ARKK's performance over the last five years. And that's CRISPR's performance also over the last five years. If you lay over the ARKK performance, you can see that they are almost identical. Let's have a look at Invitae. And similar picture again. And this is all fun and jokes if investors keep adding more money into the fund. But if there is a time when people take some of their money out, then it gets ugly real quick. And that's what happened a few weeks ago when investors pulled out almost $500 million in one day. And when investors pull out their money, ARK has to sell a bunch of the shares of the companies that they are invested in. And that's a big problem. That brings down the share price of the companies that they hold and ultimately the ETF share price. And that's exactly what happened to ARKK a few weeks ago. Risk number two of investing in ARX ETFs is chasing the hot new funds. Remember at the beginning of the video, I showed you this chart. This chart shows the assets under management of the CGM focus fund. In the 2000s, this fund was the hottest fund out there. It averaged an annual return rate of 18% in a decade where the S&P 500 didn't move up at all. Investors saw this and piled more and more money into this fund in 2008. But at this point, the fund was already up 80%. When the market started turning in 2008, the fund lost 65% of its value and people took their money out. The assets under management dropped by 70% in just a few weeks. The average investor in the best performing fund in the 2000s lost 11% on average. Average. And after that, the fund never recovered. And there are countless examples, just like CGM, where funds were hyped as the hot new thing and then came crashing down. And there is a big risk that the same could happen to ARK. Risk number three of investing in ARK's ETFs is that you buy high and sell low. All these hot new funds have one thing in common, they all start outperforming the market for a few years, they become popular, investors pile money onto them at the peak performance and then they start underperforming the market. Investors panic and sell everything when the fund's share price is low. Buying high, selling low. The worst thing you can do in investing. And that's because investors love to chase past performance. They look at the last few years and project it into the future and expect the same thing to happen again. This is a normal, but also very dangerous behavior. Kathy Wood's performance in 2020 was phenomenal, no question. But she's definitely not the new Warren Buffett because she's only been outperforming the market for a few years, like all the other hot funds. Buffett has been beating the market for 50 years consistently, and that's what makes him so special. Risk number four of investing in ARX ETFs is buying things you don't understand. Investing in disruption and tech companies, that sounds so cool. And that's exactly how ARK excites so many young investors. And of course, tech performed incredibly well over the last five years. And the global pandemic gave tech companies another boost because digital services became more important than ever. But what I've been hearing a lot recently is, ARK is amazing and I will invest all my money into their ETFs. I don't understand the companies that they invest in, but I trust them to pick great stocks. And that's very dangerous. I personally don't believe that you need to actively bet on certain industries or companies. If you pick a passive ETF, it will track the performance of thousands of companies. If certain industries perform well, then their share in the ETF basket will increase over time. And that's exactly what happened in the last few years to tech. Their share in passive ETFs has increased. So you don't need to bet on certain industries 
A passive ETF will take care of this for you. So there you have it, an overview of ARK, their investing style, their performance, and four big risks you should be aware of before investing into their ETFs. The attention that ARK is getting at the minute is so deserved. What they have achieved in the last year is incredible. I personally really like ARK's investment approach and their open research. So I'm not telling you not to invest in the fund, but be aware of the risks that come with it. Also try to avoid chasing one hot ETF after another just because they outperformed the market in the last few years because past performance is not a guarantee for the future. And last point, don't just invest in something you don't understand. Do your own research before investing. But what do you actually think? Are you invested in any of ARK's ETFs? Will ARK continue to outperform the market in 2021 or will it come crashing down? Let me know in the comment section below. So I hope that this video could help you to understand the risks of investing in an ARK ETF. This is actually one of my first videos. So if you want to support this channel, then please make sure you subscribe. Thank you very much for doing that and peace.